10 Most Impressive Mega Construction Projects in Senegal The West African country, Senegal is bordered by Mauritania in the north, Mali to the east, Guinea to the southeast and Guinea-Bissau to the southwest. Senegal nearly surrounds the Gambia, a country occupying a narrow sliver of land along the banks of the Gambia River, which separates Senegal's southern region of Casamance from the rest of the country. Senegal also shares a maritime border with Cape Verde, Senegal's economic and political capital is Dakar. The economy of Senegal is driven by mining, construction, tourism, fishing and agriculture, which are the main sources of employment in rural areas, despite abundant natural resources in iron, zircon, gas, gold, phosphates, and numerous oil discoveries recently. Senegal's economy gains most of its foreign exchange from fish, phosphates, ground nets, tourism, and services. As one of the dominant parts of the economy, the agricultural sector of Senegal is highly vulnerable to environmental conditions, such as variations in rainfall and climate change and changes in world commodity prices. Hence, Senegal is investing a lot in infrastructure to create it alternative ways for the economy to grow. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. Ten, Akin City. Akin City is a project launched by Senegalese American singer and entrepreneur Akin. Akin City will be built in Senegal. The project was first announced in Senegal by Akin along with the Senegal Minister of Tourism Alion Sarin. In 2018, Akin said he was inspired by the movie Black Panther and he refers to Akin City as a real-life Wakanda that uses the latest technologies of blockchain and cryptocurrency. The developed economy aims to adapt future development. The current evolution required a flexible infrastructure to accommodate new real estate development. A city is senable rivalry futuristic development to become the beacon of innovation and human development by providing the best education solution. To lead the economy of the country creating the most revolutionary industry, rewarding Senegalese hard work for making Senegal the leading country in technology innovation and natural resources best used by providing the best housing with at most futuristic design, comforting the daily life with mixed use of entertainment and services for all types of residential buildings. Econcity will set the standard for all future real estate development in Senegal as a country and region as a whole. 9. Train Express Regional Dakar the Regional Express Train TER, is one of the flagship projects of the emerging Senegal plan initiated by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Macky Sall. The TER will link downtown Dakar to the new Blaise Diagne International Airport 57 kilometers away in 45 minutes, articulated with other modes of transport through a cleverly thought-out feeder system. The TER will form the backbone of transport in the Senegalese capital. The project will be carried out in two phases. A first phase going from Dakar Station to Diamiadio, 36 km, and a second phase going from Diamiadio to the Aved Airport, 19 km. When Phase 1 comes into service, the Regional Express train will carry up to 115,000 passengers a day and will serve 13 stations and stops between the suburbs of Dakar and the new city of Diamiadio. 8. Damiata Lake City The city of Damiato is to be built in the suburb of Dakar. This urban project answers to the strong demographic issue in the region of Dakar and is to result into the creation of the first Senegalese smart city. This project, backed up by the President Macky Sall, aims at embodying a conception of the Senegal of tomorrow. In a great area of 1,644 ha, which is to host 350,000 inhabitants at the end, Diamiadio will be a top-range showcase, a utopian city, harmoniously coupling all the necessary functions. 
It will consist of an academic poll and economic zone pointing towards digital technologies, as well as an international conference center and several Senegalese ministries to be relocated in it. The city will consist of a public transport service, particularly efficient, thanks to the regional express train and the Dakar Diamiadio Highway. The idea behind the development of Diamiadio Lake City is to ease the population pressure on Dakar. The project is estimated to cost 2 billion US dollar and will extend over an area of 1,644 hectares. On completion, the new city will be connected to Dakar through a 32-kilometer express highway, which will reduce the travel time from 90 minutes to an average of 30 minutes. The time frame for building the new city is 10 years as per the Memorandum of Understanding with the Senegalese government. Seven, Port of Bardmi Sedi Project. The bulk port of Bardmi Sendu, a project initiated by the state of Senegal to support the large import and export volumes of mineral, hydrocarbon, and cereal products in and out of the West African country. The port will have an initial capacity of 20 million tons and will handle 15 million tons of commodities in its first year of operations, according to Senegal Minergy Port, SMP a Senegalese company established to undertake the development of the project. The port of Bargni Sendu is structured into three terminals. The first terminal, with a capacity of 2.5 million tons, will be reserved for the treatment of liquid cargoes and it will also serve as a depot for petroleum products as well as for gas storage. The second terminal, on the other hand, will be dedicated to minerals such as phosphates, iron, bauxite, zircon, etc., while the third terminal is meant to receive goods such as grain bagged on site, oil seeds, boiler making, and construction materials. Generally, the Port of Bargni Sendu project will unclog the capital and provide users with a modern infrastructure asset that will facilitate the reception of large vessels and consequently lead to a considerable reduction in the costs of loading and unloading of seaborne products. Upon completion of the entire construction works, Port of Bardney Sendu will become the largest bulk port in the whole of the West Africa region. 6. Dakar Bus Rapid Transit Pilot Project the development objective of Dakar Bus Rapid Transit Pilot Project for Senegal is to enhance urban mobility between Dakar and Guinea way through the development of a Bus Rapid Transit BRT corridor. This project has four components. 1. The first component, BRT infrastructure, fleet, and systems, aims to finance goods, works, and services for detailed design, construction, and supervision of the bus, rapid transit core infrastructure, including the road infrastructure and its drainage system, landscaping, depot, terminals, stations, intersections, corridor traffic management systems, pedestrian crosswalks, sidewalks, and some bike lanes along the corridor. Two, the second component, public transport network restructuring and roadworks, aims to finance goods, works, and services for roadworks along feeder routes, roadworks on vicinal roads to support diverted traffic due to suppressing of left turn movement, as well as reduction of the route and provision of urban furniture for public transport along feeder routes. 5. Senegal Municipal Solid Waste Management Project The Senegal Municipal Solid Waste Management Project has three components. One. The first component, strengthening sector governance and institutional capacity, has the following sub-components. Firstly, operationalization of the existing laws and regulations governing SWM, and secondly, technical assistance. Two, the second component, improving solid waste infrastructure and services in selective agglomerations, the development objective of Municipal Solid Waste Management Project is to strengthen the governance of solid waste management in Senegal and improve solid waste management services in selected municipalities. 4. Dam Miado Stadium Project The government of Senegal has launched construction of a new 50,000 capacity stadium in Dam Miado in the West African country. Senegalese President Macky Sall, who performed the launch ceremony, said the stadium is destined to stage events at the 2022 Youth Olympic Games. The West African nation will host the fourth edition of the Summer Youth Games in its capital Dakar, the new city of Diamiadio and the coastal resort of Sali. 
3. Senegal National Railway Rehabilitation This project covers the Senegal portion of the dakar jaina Djibouti Road and Railway Project. This is a multimodal transboundary transport corridor including Senegal, Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, Sudan, Ethiopia, and Djibouti. It is a combination of the Trans-African Highway 5, Dakar to Jaina, and 6, Jaina to Djibouti, a combined distance covered of 8,715 km. Over the last decade, the railway transport route between Dakar and Bamako has become degraded and in created hindrances in the international services for passenger transportation. Due to this, the Dakar-Bamako rail project has been prioritized by the government of Senegal as the first of three phases of the project. 2. Point Serene Rue Hotels Looking to gain ground in Africa, Spain's Rue Hotels and Resorts chain has purchased a 25-hectare site in the Point Serene area on Senegal's west coast to build at least two new hotels. The first hotel will be in the company's classic model with an estimated 500 rooms, while the second will be a Rue Palace with room for 800 guests. Rio is planning efficient construction to minimize the environmental impact of the project. The planned investment, part of the chain's partnership with SACO, Society for the Development and Promotion of the Senegal Coast and Tourist Zone amounts to 150 million euros, which includes the purchase of the site and the development of the future hotels in the destination. Rio already owns six hotels in Africa 5 in Cape Verde, and one in Tanzania and operates a further five hotels in Morocco. The region has seen support from local and tourist authorities, particularly in the completion of the Blaise Diagne International Airport, which is 35 kilometers from the site Rio has acquired, and a highway links it to the city of Dakar. To complement that highway and the hotel chain's project, the city is building a bypass to link the highway to the Rio hotels. 1. Cap de Biche Power Plan Project Cap des Biches is an 86 megawatts thermal generation facility developed and constructed by Contour Global in two phases 53 megawatts that began generating electricity in April 2016 after only 14 months of construction, and a second phase consisting of 33 megawatts that broke ground in January 2016 and produced first electricity already in September 2016. The new Cap de Beach power plant was designed to utilize the existing facilities and infrastructure of an old power plant site to lower the cost of development and construction. The plant consists of five Wurzilla 18 B4-6 combustion engines equipped with a highly efficient flexicycle system, which uses waste heat to power a steam turbine. This state-of-the-art technology enables Cap de Biche to provide the lowest cost energy in Senegal, and the facility can easily be converted to burn natural gas, providing the Senegalese with valuable fuel flexibility. After watching this video, I hope you see the potential Africa passes. So be a proud African and work each day to make your continent a better place. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our amazing videos on Africa, entrepreneurship, and personal development. Help our channel grow.